Welcome to Inside EVs. Today we are back with another one of our signature 70 mile per hour highway range tests for battery electric vehicles. Today we are putting through the Chevrolet Spark EV. You will join myself and my colleague Dominic Yoni while we cruise up and down the highways of Tallahassee, Florida, running this car from 100% down to zero at 70 miles per hour on the highway. Hello and welcome to Inside EVs. It's Kyle Connor and Dominic Yoni. We actually are both with Inside EVs. You guys probably know Dominic if you watch our weekly podcast. Well, I'm down in Tallahassee, Florida, visiting with Dominic, and we're going to do a 70 mile per hour range test like we do for every EV in the electric spark. How many miles do you think we're gonna get at 70 miles per hour? Uh, let's see, it's rated for, I think, 82. So 82 EPA. So if we get to 70 miles, I'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah, if we can get 70 miles of range at 70 miles per hour, right. that would be good. I don't know if we can do it, but we'll find out. You now join us inside the Spark EV. I've never driven one, so how do we turn it on? Foot on the brake. Yeah, and push the, push the power thing. button, and it should boot up in a moment. Oh yeah, it does. So just like every range test, we're gonna run climate control. We need to, it's hot out today. Sure. And we are going to run it at a reasonable temperature in auto. Oh yeah, it's showing uh, 77 miles of predicted range. Right. A maximum of 92 if we drive more efficiently, That's I right. imagine. And 61 if we drive less efficiently. Only 17,000 and a bit miles on this car. So yep. still a fresh pack, more or less. Pretty fresh. Yeah, okay. So I pulled it all the way down to L, which is where I'd like it. And we're one mile from the highway, which is typically about the same distance we get from all of our range tests uh, to get to the highway. So we'll cruise over there, set the cruise control at a GPS activated 70 miles per hour. We'll you know, reference our phone data for that. And then um, we'll go until it doesn't want to go anymore. <laughs> we're gonna do a loop style range test, which is important. It's a very still day today, not windy at all and we'll be on relatively flat ground. So this is almost optimal conditions to get the most out of this car in the inside EVs, 70 mile per hour range test. The outdoor temperature, it says 86 degrees, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was a bit warmer than that. Yeah, the Tesla, you know, we, we pulled up in a Model 3 and it, it was showing 91. Okay. So, uh, but this was also in the garage for a little while. That's right, it's been in the garage charging. So while we're doing the range test, I think we should talk about the Spark EV a little bit as well. Maybe you can tell us about your ownership experience, sure. how it's been for you. Because again, I um, I don't know anything about this car. This is, all I've heard is they're really torquey, which I won't find out on that. Well, let's just do one. <laughs> it's pretty fast. All right, now we're done with acceleration. Back to efficiency. <laughs> right. So what, yeah, what was it'll, it? It'll, the wheels will spin up to like 35 miles an hour. You, you really? Go, you, you floor it and it's like <laughs> looking for grip. And it's right, right off the bat, there's a, you know, the, really, the torque really kicks in once you're going maybe 10, 15 miles an hour or so. Yeah, that's what right, so it feeds in relatively smoothly. Right. It seems to handle pretty nimbly as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, you know, the battery uh, is down low and it's, it's relatively heavy because it's a 2015 and it's an early pack. It's an LG pack. The uh, earlier models before this, previous to this, had a, uh, uh, a one, A123 systems uh, pack. Okay. Uh, slightly larger, I believe. I believe, or maybe slightly smaller. One of them is. Uh, one's bigger, one's smaller. Right. Well, it's like nine, one was 19 kilowatt hours, and one's 21 kilowatt hours. Okay. So we don't know which one this has. But they're both around the same range because the, the earlier one was a bit heavier. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So that's interesting. And this one's a, a 15. 2015. Yes. Right. 2015. Uh, I gotta say, I like it instantly better than the Bolt. Oh, really? I, yeah, because it's kind of fun. It looks cool. First off, the color you've selected is really cool. Right. Um, I like cars in cool colors. Too right. many people buy gray cars. Guilty here as well. Right. Uh, but this is a fun color in a really fun car to just bomb around town, which is what you normally do. That's what I do, yeah. And so it has CCS fast charging, but that, have you That was ever... an optional. That was an option. It was, was, and it was an option on the Bolt as well. Oh, really? um, yeah, it was $750, and it still is. But um, 
Have you ever DC fast charged it? I have not. I, I made an attempt last night, my second attempt at the Electrify America station, and for whatever reason, the Electrify America stations do not play well with the, with the, with the Bolt TV. Yeah, well, the bolts seem to be okay, but the sparks in particular, I've heard, like, really bad. They don't fast charge at all, Electrify America? Yeah, I've just heard no one having a successful fast charging session with a Spark EV in Electrify America. I think I've heard of people having luck with a with a Spark EV, but I have not. I, I filmed it last night too. Maybe I oh, can cool. put yeah, that footage yeah, together. Well, yeah, it's, it's basically a, a big disappointment. No, oh, that's such a bummer. <laughs> it's all right. Luckily, I live close enough, and it wasn't an issue. But it's something to plan around, I guess. Now we are merging onto the highway around this little off ramp. The car is down to predicting 74 miles of range on the guesso meter, and I think it's important to explain to our audience who might be new to EVs what a guesso meter is versus a uh, rated range calculation. And pretty much every EV, other than Tesla, as far as I'm aware, use a uses a guesso meter type system and what it does is it analyzes your driving style and predicts the range remaining based off the energy in the pack. What a rated range calculation does is it says hey at this consumption specific level like in a Tesla in a Model 3 it's like 240 watt hour per mile you will get this much range achieving this arbitrary number. Right. Um, and again I, I think both are flawed systems but this one uses the guesso meter. Oh, that is fancy. There we go. Cruise set to 70 miles per hour. I'm going to pull out my phone, not on video, please don't call the police, and I'm going to verify that speed through GPS. Let's continue on with the test. We have reached our turnaround spot. Uh, we were thinking about stretching it to the next exit, but it was a significant distance, and we've used up about 40% of the battery, it looks like, already. Yeah. So I think what we'll do is we'll go 70 miles per hour back the other direction, just dropping it into L for regen, and then we'll probably go past your exit by one or two and loop around down that way sure. when there's closer exits so we don't get stranded on the highway running this thing down to zero. And uh, so far though, the car drives great on the highway. I'm impressed with the Spark EV. I actually really like it. Like I get the same feeling driving this that I do in my smart car. Right. It's fun and nimble and it looks cool. And I think the Spark might be better off-road. Oh, well, we'll have to test that. <laughs> <laughs> we got some off-road right here. Let's go over. Right. <laughs> Um, right, well, that, I think um, it, it's just a great offering. It seems to cruise down the highway. And uh, so far, about halfway, a little less than halfway, we're averaging between 3.6 and 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour, which is not bad at all. So we'll see what it does, continuing on. Nearing the end of our range test, we have a warning on the dash that says charge vehicle now. We have pretty much run this thing out to zero. We have 63 miles of range. Um, I don't know how many kilowatt hours we used because it doesn't show, but uh, I'm sure we basically have reached the whole thing. Wide open throttle is not pulling much. So uh, we're definitely right at the bottom of the pack, which is what you want to be. And we were able to get uh, just over 63 miles. It'll be probably 63.2, 63.3 by the time we plug in. 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. What is your thought on that? It's a little, little less actually than I was hoping for. Okay. But... Well, keep in mind, hot day, 97 to 99 degrees that, Fahrenheit. That's right. We did have the AC on, but at a low uh, fan speed. But still, you probably could have gotten another two or three miles out of it without air conditioning. But we always run our range test with climate because we don't want to get hot. <laughs> That's right. And so, you know, Tom and I basically, we go, okay, we'll set it between 70 and 74 and moderate fan speed. And you know what, it, it, how efficient is that car's HVAC system is important. That's true. And it plays a role. So, um, you know, we did our standardized procedure. It just happened to be hot, but I think you could definitely eat more out of it by driving slower and by using less AC. Now we're heading to a charger and let's hope we don't run out in the parking lot. <laughs> and we are plugged in at Whole Foods on the Clipper Creek. Thank goodness we got the last charging spot because there's a volt here. And let's take a uh, look at these stations. These have some 
Oh yeah, it's got the nice brown mm -hmm. interior. And sets and, and the seats. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool. So we have two GM electrified products here at the end. I still like the Spark better. And it's such a cool looking car. And it was quite torquey. I, again, we didn't drive it hard, but the one time I put my foot into it briefly, it rocketed off. So Dominic, that was the end of our range test. Yes. And uh, thank you for donating your car to the Inside EVs test, even though you're a part of Inside EVs. So that's the thing, all of us staff members if we have an EV, we have to do a range test with it. That's right. It's, it's part of the sign-up requirements to working at Inside EVs. Uh, anyway, the Spark did really well. I'm impressed with the car overall. It was my first time driving one. And uh, if you'd like to see more electric vehicle content, please subscribe to our channel down below. Click the bell icon. And as always, we'll see you on the next episode.